In Raiders of the North Sea, you must use your skill to find the best crew, plunder the richest villages, and make your way to victory. And we're going to teach you how to play here on Legendary Tactics. So I'm going to just walk you through the, uh, t the tutorial uh, here to show you a little bit about how to play. Um, it's actually kind of a neat mechanic. Um, I'd never played this game before. I've heard good things. Um, and uh, so, you know, basically the, the mechanics are, are kind of what intrigued me the most. It's like worker placement, but with a little bit of a twist. So um, as it says here, you've started with three crew cards. Um, and basically the mechanic is that you've got these workers that are, um, uh, you've got the, the black, the gray and the white and basically the the depending on the on the stage of the game and so forth they're going to give you uh, different bonuses um, you can see the silversmith will give you three silver if you go there the uh, mill will give you provisions which you need for raids the barracks will allow you to hire uh, you know some crew the gatehouse will add more cards to your hand basically to draw two uh, townsfolk cards now if you've got a worker down already you can't actually play there so um, we have to play to a spot either the mill or the silversmith and get those resources so we're going to take um, the three silver which we can use to hire the crew okay now then we can take another uh, uh, worker up and as we do that we actually will uh, gain the bonus of that so if we take the barracks worker we actually get um, you know the ability to hire uh, the crew and I like the look of this guy um, because uh, basically he's got two strength and he costs three and his uh, power is draw one additional card in the gatehouse so if we have him hired then we get an extra card when we uh, you know, play in the gatehouse. If you recall, the gatehouse is where you add more villagers to your hand that are available for hire. So we're going to hire this guy um, because I like his his strength, and that gives us, uh, you know, a crew of these three uh, uh, guys. So you know, that's the basic mechanic. You place a worker and pick up another. All right, and so now we are going to look at the rest of the world, and you can see that there's some harbors here that we can plunder. Now you need two uh, crew, crew members and you need one provision in order to uh, attack any of these settlements. And you'll notice the gray worker also comes along with it. Um, and I'll show you, you know, kind of how that to work. So um, we have the provisions and we have the crew that we need. So we should be good to raid. Um, and when you raid, you will get the um, livestock, gold and iron. Um, and that's uh, that's all good. You can use it to, to spend on uh, various things and uh, gain victory points and so forth, which I'll show you in a second. So we're going to drag the worker to, let's say, this particular spot. Um, and we have 10 strength, which is more than enough to uh, win that, that plunder. And we get to take all the stuff, um, which is great. And uh, as I said, it can be a currency. It can also be used for victory points. Um, later in the game and so that's like a basic uh, raid and the, the first tutorial just walks you through that very very basic step but I'm going to take you through the second tutorial as well and uh, this kind of goes into a little more detail um, and it gives you a little bit more of a kind of a sandbox kind of feel here um, so basically we need to uh, raid a, a harbor an outpost and a fortress now the harbor we just demonstrated an outpost requires a gray worker in order to um, invade an outpost and a fortress requires a white worker um, and we're competing for victory points against another raider um, so we draw our cards and uh, she draws her cards we start out with this little gravedigger dude um, and he's zero strength um, if killed in a raid though we gain a gold and uh, we can also um, swap one hired crew member with a card from your hand um, if we use the town hall so you can see the symbol matches there okay now the the tutorial is pretty good it explains things fairly well but it does kind of leave a little bit to the um, you know your initiative to figure out what to do next so um, in this case, um, I have three gold. I really want this guy because he is um, pretty uh, pretty strong. So 
I'm going to uh, need more silver for that. So I'm going to take more silver. And then uh, why not, why don't we just, uh, let's see, and you use this uh, space here to toggle between the crew that you have hired. And, um, and that actually might be a good thing. We can swap out one of these guys. Um, this guy is actually kind of neat. You play, pay one less silver when hiring crew in the barracks. He's only one strength though. So I think what we'll do, we'll take this worker and we're going to add a couple cards um, from the gatehouse. So we'll, we want to see if we want to get a couple more. There we go. We got a couple uh, of really strong guys. We just need the gold to hire them. And there's my opponent and uh, she's making some noise there, but she is going to go to the barracks and hire um, that character and she's going to pick up the silversmith and so she takes uh, th um, three silver. So as you can see it's kind of a neat mechanic in the sense that um, you know you have you know you see these three spots are blocked so I've got to go somewhere else uh, to do my uh, you know either go to silversmith mill or gatehouse um, but uh, on the second part of your turn, you also get uh, to, um, you know, pick up and and use the ability of that space as well. So, um, so we provide uh, get a provision. We're going to need that for later. And let me just take a look. So we need two provisions and one provision here, uh, and we need uh, two crew hired crew members to attack. Now there's no required strength. If you go up here, you'll see. If you uh, attack with eight strength or more, you actually get three victory points. And if you attack with 14 or more, then you get five victory points. So it's good to have a good amount of strength. Um, in some of these, you actually, if you look there, you get a red die as well. So you will roll a die to add some strength. So you don't need to have the whole crew together to get all the points. Um, it does help though to have some, some strong uh, people there. So. I'm going to pick up the town hall and I'm going to use uh, the ability of my um, grave digger guy and I'm going to see if I can, uh, oh sorry I've got to use that, uh, um, I'm going to hire one crew member immediately for only two silver. So I'm going to use that, I have to discard him but I'm going to hire this guy super cheap which is great. So he's four strength, which is awesome. And uh, there we go. So we hired him and we're doing well. We can actually hire the, the next guy, um, but we actually have enough to already do a raid. So I'm gonna do a raid this time um, because um, we wanna get that uh, requirement. Um, and actually this guy's telling me, we're gonna get that uh, requirement out of the way. So I'm going to use the raider and I'm going to grab the one with uh, the livestock, I guess. We'll do that. I've yet to figure out exactly what the best balance is. I guess it depends on what you're trying to do. Um, we only have four strength because that grave digger dude isn't uh, worth anything, <laughs> except it's worth more dead than alive. And then we picked up the gray worker and that actually opens up some other possibilities as well. So once um, the Grey Worker is in hand, it does open up some other um, options as far as the, um, you know, other spaces you can use. And I'll show you that in a sec. So she's going to raid and take that plunder. And now we're back uh, to the village. And you can see now that it has added... Uh, another category here. So depending on the worker, so the silversmith now, if you use the gray worker, interestingly, you only get two silver instead of three. So you're actually better off using the black worker there. And this um, using a, a gray worker here gives you two provisions. Using a white worker gives you two provisions and a gold. So you can see the map kind of opens up a little bit more um, as, you, as you grow. Um, and there's also the longhouse added. This is where you can um, essentially uh, sacrifice, um, you know, th those provisions to get those victory points, or those uh, pl that plunder to get victory points. And the armory allows you to just pay straight up two silver or one uh, uh, steel or whatever metal, uh, sorry, iron, and that boost just 
pure purely boosts the strength of your crew. Um, so that's kind of an interesting uh, uh, thing. So let's take a look at the outpost here. So we're going to need three provisions. We need three crew members, and we are going to roll a, a die um, there to see if we can get um, the best possible uh, strength. So we are going to need to. Um, we're going to need, uh, what are we going to need? We're going to need provisions. So we're going to take some provisions, which is great. And then we're going to, um, we're going to hire one of the guys from my hand. We're going to hire this guy because I like him. We're up to eight strength already, which is great. Um, and we have our three crew members and our three provisions. So we can actually raid that, uh, that outpost right away. Um, now she's going to raid another spot, um, which is fine. And she gets a bunch of, she's actually got a lot of silver and a lot of materials, which is good. So, um, but I think we're at a stage where we can actually raid. Now, the th interesting thing is we can't raid an outpost with a, um, a black worker. So we're going to have one more turn here uh, to... Uh, see what we can do here. So I think I'm going to uh, take uh, three silver, I think. Let me just take a look at this crew member here. I'm going to see if the town hall is worth that. Oh, there we are. Yeah, I don't know. We've got that other guy. Okay, so that causes the people to give silver. Um, all right, so we're going to pick up... Huh, tough call. Um, well, I guess if we want to raid the uh, the outpost, then we got to pick this guy up here so we can take care of that. Um, we're, we're just going to, you know, be moving quickly here, you know, as well, just to show you how to play. Um, you know, I'm not going to worry too much about the uh, about the AI here but I, th I have a pretty good feeling if you move quickly then uh, you can actually uh, you know move you know you can score um, you know a fair amount so um, if you move quickly you know the AI is just there to you know basically be a pace car if you're moving too slow um, at any rate yes so we can now plunder now you'll notice that there's two gold and a um, death's head. Now that means that one of the crew members will die uh, at the end of this battle. And you can see, for example, the gravedigger if killed in a raid, we gain one gold, which is um, pretty good. So I'm going to go for gold here, literally. And uh, we've already got eight strength. We're going to roll a die and see uh, if we can get a six. We don't. So we get three victory points, um, which is fine. And uh, so that's uh, that's fine. And if we'd rolled a six, we would have gotten the five victory points, but we'll take the uh, uh, the three. And uh, sorry, we, the death's head is actually called a Valkyrie, and you have to lose a crew member for those, and they go to Valhalla. And uh, after the first crew member dies, you actually get victory points for the, the uh, crew member that goes to Valhalla. That one is no problem. I get the gold as my uh, bonus. And now I'm going to move on to my... The last stage, which is because uh, we we took the harbor, and we took the uh, oh, the um, outpost. Now we need to, the ability to uh, attack the fortress. Now we have the white worker, so let's take a look at what we need in order to attack the fortress. And it looks like we need two provisions. We got that four crew members two gold and we roll two die for the points and you can get up to 12 victory points if you get up to 28 strength uh, on that so it's kind of an interesting balance a bit of a race against time um, to get the the plunder um, and uh, you know definitely uh, it's an interesting kind of quandary um, let's see here I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the Hmm. I think we'll we'll do uh, the longhouse and we'll sacrifice um, some of the. We'll make offerings to the chieftain, and we'll gain uh, 
where we can get additional provisions. But we're just going to trade in the livestock and the iron for four victory points. And because uh, that's we don't we only need gold to plunder the uh, the fortress. And uh, let's see what our motley crew looks like. Um, yeah, I like this guy. He's fine. The forager, eh, not that uh, not that interesting. Uh, so we'll just we'll pick up we'll take the gatehouse and we'll pick up another couple here. Oh, there's another there. I think we've got our crew there. We're gonna pick up these the two and the three strength guys. And uh, then we're good to go. So, uh, so we're gonna hire the uh, the crew. Now we can't do that actually because that square is blocked. So um, we will. Uh, what are we gonna do here? It's kind of an interesting quandary. I think we're going to um, with the treasury. This one actually gives you the ability to trade in uh, cards for either silver or gold. Um, so you discard the townsfolk, <laughs> basically. Um, that's if you're really stuck. I don't feel like I'm stuck, but I sure as heck could uh, use that uh, benefit. So you know what, I'm gonna try the town hall benefit and we're going to, um, we're gonna take up to two silver from the opponent. We do have to discard that guy, but um, I'm fine with that um, because I'm going to be able to hire this dude. And I'm, I'm going to have to use the gatehouse next turn um, just to drop another guy that I, I'm going to need, but I've got two silver to hire. And the white worker is back in place. So that's the one I'm going to want to grab in the next turn. Um, but... Yeah, I need more crew members to attack the, 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 the... I'm gonna need just a bit more silver, I think. And that's the benefit here. Lose two silver to gain one gold. Nah, it's not worth it. Um, I'm going to um, pick up at the... Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna pick up here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, take uh, I'm gonna discard one card for the uh, I don't like her very much, so I'm gonna discard her, and I'll take the two silver. All right, so I, I'm not showing you perhaps the most efficient path, but at least you're getting a sense of how the the game plays here. And I think that's going to be good. Oh, he took the white worker up. Oh, she did, sorry. And so I'm going to... Um, yes, I know I need more crew members. Thank you. Tutorial's very good at reminding. And we've got a few... Oh, look at that guy. Got a few different uh, strong guys, which is good. Okay, so we've got our hand here. There are three workers. and So we're going to draw up the barracks and we're going to hire the berserker. And we have our crew. So all we need to do now, and we've got a good strength, like strength 14. That's going to be good. With two die, we've, you know, I don't know if we can get the top victory point total there. But, um, yeah, basically all we need here is the white worker. So um, in order to raid the, uh, the fortress. Okay. And uh, so I'm just going to grab more silver. And I'm going to use that silver then to buy an additional uh, strength for our, our crew. And that's perfect. Now we are ready to attack the fortress. And uh, our AI friend is attacking the outpost and got five victory points. Um, so that was very good for, for her. She'd spend a bit more time building up a crew. Um, and uh, but we are ready to finish this scenario um, with, uh, with a battle at the outpost here and let's do it um, and they both have valkyries uh, I guess we want gold sure why not okay so we have strength 14 and so we 
uh, sorry, 15, because I bought the uh, the extra strength point, and uh, that gave us the middle uh, victory condition. Now we have to lose someone to Valhalla. Uh, if we lose the uh, mercenary, we gain a victory point. So we'll send the mercenary to Valhalla. I think we get an extra victory point as well, because we're it's after the first one has... Uh, uh, has died and then when uh, only one set of plunder remains in the fortresses that triggers the end of the game or when there's no valkyrie tokens left or the last offering is drawn uh, and placed at the long house so um, each player gets one final turn and this is the last round of the game and uh, obviously hilde will not be able to build up enough strength to attack the fortress this turn so we're going to look and see if there is... Oh, it doesn't look like there's any offering that's going to work uh, for us. So uh, da, 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 we're going to gather more gold, I guess, by going to the... Um, oh, we, only, we have to choose here between the provisions and gold. So we'll take the gold and... Uh, I don't know. Um... Nothing we can really do here. Um, take a provision. Our crew member gain two provisions. I don't know. I guess we'll take this worker. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. Uh, so we'll just uh, gain two provisions. Sure. Let's do that. And we have actually won. It was very close, actually, but uh, splendid victory. You've done well. The chieftain is holding a feast in your honor tonight. And we get some congratulations from uh, Hilde. And uh, we managed to pull that one out just barely, 22 to 20. That was really close. Um, I had played this tutorial through before, and it was nowhere near as close as that. So, uh, But I definitely pushed the timelines of literally what I was able to uh, get done as uh, pretty much as fast as I could. And then it gives you the point breakdown, and that's really good. So anyway, this is um, you know an introduction to uh, uh, to Raiders of the North Sea, and uh, I think this is a really neat uh, game. It's got some kind of neat mechanics, pretty simple to pick up, um, but there, I think there's a, a you know enough depth of, of strategy that this is going to be a, a, a fun one for you. So um, anyway. Uh, look for uh, more of uh, more content for, about uh, Raiders of the North Sea in the future. I'm looking forward to playing through against the AI and so forth and uh, showing you more uh, gameplay. So anyway, if you got some value out of this, please like, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you next time here on Legendary Tactics.